I've been remembering what they used to say about your old man. You know, how he was in the ring. Useful. Handy even, but... Lacked that thing. That killer instinct. And I've been thinking about that old saying. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> well, some apples, I mean, that brother of yours. <whistles> One permanent resident of the cycle corner from what I hear. But you. To kill a stranger in cold blood just ain't you, Phil. Well, you think you land one lucky punch and you know everything about me, huh? You didn't kill Carl White. I mean, he's definitely dead. So now I'm wondering what other apples are there in that family of yours that may have fallen just that little bit further from the tree? Say it again, please, darling. Uh, fancy a drink? One of them, if you're offering. Nah, you're all right. Go on, anything you like. And what you got there? That orange juice. There you go. Learn something every day. You don't understand we have to make reparations, because I think I'm due a sorry. What for? For just sheer rudeness. No pleases or thank yous. You know what I think? I think you should take that big fat map of yours disappear and don't come back. Phil, if there's anyone that needs to disappear, it ain't me. Get my friend there another orange juice. Make it a large one. Thanks. Oh my, cash for the friendly ghost. Run. I need to speak to you. Cheers, Phil. Have a good night. It's not funny. No, I just generally high on the spirit of a bustling public house. Yeah, well, you enjoy that while it lasts. Vincent Hubbard, I'm arresting you for assault. Why do you do not have to say anything? Sticks. But it may, on your defence, you do not me. mention something. Questions are better alarming. Do not like him. Anything you do say may be given. The least you can do. I promise, sir. Did you? I didn't, I swear. <laughs> it wouldn't be the worst thing if you did. about Ronnie coming on. So, now we're neighbours, we should talk. We've got some matters we need to sort out. <clears throat> Bottle of fizz and three orange juices, please. Special occasion. Yeah, meeting my granddaughter for the first time. Well, it's a double celebration, really, isn't it? What with Vincent being let off by the old Bill the other day. Absolutely. She's fine. Bring the drinks over with you, darling. I'm OK with kids. Nice try. I got let go of because the police never had no evidence. They never do. Maybe that's why Ronnie asked me for help. You'd be good to remember that the next time you try to grasp me up. Yeah, well, everyone trips up eventually, don't they? You know where you tripped up, Phil? Where you got sloppy? Carl White. And if you want the truth to remain buried, you and Ronnie, you're going to have to pay for my silence. You really think you can blackmail us? I know I can. We'll see about that. A truce. We won't go after you, you don't come after us. <laughs> Why would I agree to that? Because if you've done, we'll just keep going until we take you and your family down. All here. Or I take you down. Maybe. But there's too much to lose now. 
We've got families, children. They don't deserve this. What's in it for me? <laughs> you can name your price. Anything. But it's a one-off. And after this, we draw a line. Under everything. Anything. What a truce. This is my price. 